Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tacman Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having an amazing, great start to the week. I'm gonna start sharing my screen so you can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. Uh, I started off the day on a very positive note. Uh, it did not end that way. I just posted my loss on Instagram. If you guys wanna go ahead and check that out, that's the third link in the description. Uh, I killed it absolutely You know, last week. And like we've said before, right? You're only as good as your last trade. And I just was really challenged by the market today. I began shorting the market by going into SQQQ. It's no one else's fault but myself. You know, during today's live trading session, I was doing a great job watching my position size. I was adding more as direction was in my favor. It became overbought. I reduced my position size beautifully. It pulled on back and guess what I did? A very common mistake that I always talk about avoiding. It's I got too comfortable. I thought that we we're going to show signs of a support within that same previous range above the moving average. I added more. It broke below the moving average. My stop loss was all the way down here, right around uh, 53.10. It broke below that. It began to recover. I got back in thinking that I had direction in my favor because we were trading above EMA. Got rejected by the moving average. I called out all these resistance levels within our trade ideas in LPP group chat. Uh, it's very simple. Direction was not in my favor. I was fighting direction. And this is a great example of what happens when you fight overall market direction. I've said it many times before, but I don't care if the market's bullish. I don't care if the market's bearish. Uh, it just got the best of me today. Uh, th there's no other way to put it. There's no one else to blame. It's literally just myself. And uh, again, the market doesn't need to justify why it did what it did. I mean, it was very clear to see that when we broke above the moving average here on QQQ, it was bullish, right? It, it was nonstop bullish. I mean, it would pull back a little bit, but it was forming higher lows, which is a great sign for the NASDAQ market. It formed higher highs. It pulled on back, forming higher lows once again, and it's looking great for the NASDAQ. Uh, although on the four hour time frame, we're still within that resistance range. I think tomorrow will really be the determining factor on how the market ends up performing. So if we actually head on over to the economic report calendar, we do have a series of economic reports that are going to be released 30 minutes before the market opens and then 30 minutes after the market opens. The most significant one tomorrow is going to be the consumer confidence report. We should see the market react. It shouldn't be anything crazy. If I were to you know, really try to focus attention in one area in the market tomorrow, uh, that would be the earning reports that are set to be released. If those, for those that are unaware, uh, we have uh, Stop, Shopify, I'm sorry, Spotify, my apologies, uh, Google and Microsoft that are reporting earnings tomorrow after the market closes. Uh, it's going to be a very big day. I'm thinking of hosting a live session, catching the market reaction. And this time I'm going to be home at my office and we're going to have good service. Uh, so if you guys want me to host that live session and you would like to tune on in into it, uh, all we literally ask you to do is to drop a thumbs up, get this video to over 1500 likes. And I'd love to host that free live session for you guys. For those that are unaware, and I get it if you're a little bit newer to the market, um, these companies report earnings every quarter, right? So the companies are reporting quarterly earnings and tomorrow uh, it's Google and Microsoft that are reporting earnings. It's Alphabet, which is like the mother company of, of Google. Uh, they report after the market closes tomorrow. So my time, it's at 1 p.m. Eastern time, it's at 3 or 4 p.m., right? Um, but I'm gonna be hosting a live session during that time. If you're new to the market and you wanna see kind of what it's like uh, to watch one of those earnings, but you don't wanna do it on your own, that's the whole point of these live sessions is we join this live, we do it together, we wait for the market to react, uh, and we talk about market expectations. So before the earning report is actually released, I'm gonna be filming a video based off of market expectation of what's currently factored in and what happens if we break above or below. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that. I just I wanted to share with you guys, you know, last week, um, all I kept talking about was what I was doing well and I was watching my position size, focusing on direction. And just like I've said many times before, you know, on my green days, I prepare for my red days and on my red days, I prepare for my green days. So I'm excited for tomorrow. Uh, I still have a total of uh, five trading days left this month so far. And I'm excited to see what we make happen out of today. Uh, Tesla had a wild ride. Um, you know, the market didn't close anything crazy, right? I mean, the market, the NASDAQ market's barely up 1.1%, uh, and it's down after market hours. It's not even so much about that. But if you look at the intraday volatility, the market was down, and then it recovered. And that intraday move was quite significant, because if you look at Tesla, we hit lows of 198. 
and Tesla hit highs of 213. That is a 7.5% move for Tesla alone. There's a lot of volatility today. So if you struggled with that change of direction, just know that you're not alone, right? It happens, right? Our job here in the stock market is not to avoid red days, it's simply to manage them. Uh, it's part of it, something that's always going to happen. So you can either accept the loss and try to minimize that loss, or um, you know, you'll, you'll end up getting uh, or you'll end up bag holding, which is never a good thing, right? So it's easier to uh, accept the loss quick and then just move on and accept that red day. So that's t what today was for me. It was a good lesson learned. I hope that uh, you guys are able to learn from those mistakes that I made today in fighting the overall direction. And I could have done a much better job with my position size as I was hoping for the market to recover, but we never actually got that true confirmation as I was waiting for the break about the moving average. So something that we'll have to follow up for tomorrow. Uh, and again, I'm excited to see Google and Microsoft report earnings tomorrow. It should be a pretty interesting day. They have a pretty large market cap. So we should see a big shift either on the bullish or bearish side, but regardless of what it chooses, tomorrow if we host that live session it's up to you guys uh, i'm excited to cap uh, capture it with you guys and see what side we choose to trade so really do appreciate you guys time i hope that we earned a thumbs up please consider subscribing again if you have any questions about what we talked about or if you're an absolute beginner feel free to send me a direct message via discord and that's that first link down below i do trade live every single day right at market open you heard me talk about them it's my learn plan profit group and that's that second link down below we're running a big sell so if you want to learn more about it to see if it's a good fit for you and you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow second link down below and I'll see you tomorrow at Market Open. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.